Zero to One, Notes on Startups, or How to Build the Future, is a book by Peter Thiel, with Blake Masters, that was published in 2014. Peter Thiel, a co-founder of PayPal and an early investor in Facebook, shares his insights on innovation, technology, and entrepreneurship in this work. The book is based on a series of lectures Thiel gave at Stanford University and is compiled and expanded upon by Masters, one of the students in his class. Zero to One Inch by Peter Thiel delves deeply into the concept of innovation and entrepreneurship, pushing against the current of conventional wisdom to offer a unique perspective on building a successful startup. Till's insights are drawn from his extensive experience in the tech industry, and he uses several examples to illustrate his points throughout the book. Here are some key ideas from Zero to One, expanded with examples and further explanation. 1. Monopolies versus Competition Monopolies, Thiel argues that monopolies are good for society because they are incentivized to innovate due to their unique position in the market. Google is often cited as an example, dominating the search engine market so thoroughly that it can afford to invest in new, innovative projects like self-driving cars, via Waymo, and life extension, via Calico. Competition, in contrast, Thiel views competition as a destructive force, leading to stagnation and zero-sum games where companies can only succeed at the expense of others. He points to the airline industry as an example, where intense competition leads to minimal profits and little innovation. 2. From zero to one. Thiel emphasizes the importance of creating something new, which he describes as going from zero to one, as opposed to improving on something that already exists, which is going from one to n. PayPal, which Thiel co-founded, is used as an example. PayPal created a new way to make payments online, fundamentally changing the way transactions are conducted over the internet. 3. The importance of secrets. Thiel suggests that every successful startup is based on a secret, a fundamental truth that others have overlooked. He cites Airbnb and Uber as examples, where that secret was recognizing the underutilized value in spare bedrooms and empty car seats, respectively. Both companies built their success by unlocking this value, transforming the hospitality and transportation industries. 4. Niche Markets Successful startups often begin by dominating a small, specific market before expanding. Amazon is an example Teal discusses, it started by selling only books online, a relatively small and manageable market, before expanding into the retail giant it is today, selling virtually everything. 5. Last Mover Advantage Thiel turns the conventional wisdom of the first mover advantage on its head, arguing instead for the benefits of being the last mover, that is, making the last great development in a specific market and enjoying years or even decades of monopoly profits. He points to Facebook as an example, which was not the first social network but improved on the ideas of predecessors like Friendster and MySpace to become the dominant platform. 6. Foundation of Startups the importance of a strong foundation is highlighted through the lens of startup culture and team composition. Thiel stresses that who you start a company with and the early culture you establish are as crucial as the initial idea. Founders who share a personal history and a common vision for the future, like the tight-knit group that started PayPal, often referred to as the PayPal Mafia, are more likely to navigate the ups and downs of startup life successfully. 7. Technology versus Globalization Thiel distinguishes between two types of progress, technological, doing new things, and globalization, doing more of the same things. He posits that true innovation comes from technological advances rather than merely spreading existing technologies to new places. SpaceX, with its revolutionary approach to space travel and exploration, embodies this principle by pushing the boundaries of what is technologically possible rather than iterating on existing models of space transportation. Zero to One is a manifesto that challenges entrepreneurs to think differently about innovation, competition, and growth. Till's contrarian views are intended to inspire founders to aim not just for incremental improvements but for groundbreaking changes that shift paradigms and create new realities.